Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Now the Epic TV shop is stocking a huge range of camping gear and as climbers camping is very important to us. Whether it's bivvying beneath a big wall, up on the big wall on the port ledge or just at Stanage with your mates car camping, camping plays an important part of our climbing journey. And let's be honest, what would you rather spend money on? A hotel room or bacon sandwiches? So today we're going to be going through the range of gear that we're stocking in the Epic TV shop and I'm going to be picking out my personal recommendations for you guys. Now let's start with the obvious, the tent that I've just come out with. This is the Camp Cassin Minima One. It's a one person tent and the big advantage of this is its simplicity. It's super quick and easy to put up and there's enough room inside to kind of stretch out and have a bit of a sleep. It's packed up small, it's only one kilogram in weight, so it won't take up a huge amount of space in your bag. But the problem with one person tents is, number one, you're by yourself, and for climbing that's not always ideal. And number two, there isn't a huge amount of room, especially in the vestibule for cooking and putting your gear. So I'd recommend looking at the Camp Cassin Minima 2 tent, the only 1.5 kilograms, only half a kilogram more, and it just gives you that extra room. Camp Cassin tents are excellent value for money, but still maintain that quality. So if you don't want to break the bank, check these babies out. Cooking is important because, let's be honest, you need to eat. So Jet Boil is a firm favourite of many climbers and campers. This is the Minimo stove. It's a one litre pot, so nice and big. It's insulated with this handle, so you can use it as a bowl or even a mug, uh, which is great for on the go. It's got everything you need inside it, apart from the gas canister, and it's protected from the wind, so you don't get any of that sort of disturbances with the flame and flickers. It's all kept inside this nice package. If you're looking for a slightly more flexible stove system, because the problem with the jet boils is you can only really use the pot that's provided, check out our range of MSR stoves. There's everything from basic to expedition style. My personal favorite is the Pocket Rocket. I first bought mine what, six years ago, and it's never gone wrong. I've used it all around the world, and it has a universal gas canister fitting, so you can find them anywhere. And you can also, because it's just a stove, put frying pans and saucepans on top of that and cook up an absolute feast talk about cooking items. So generally with cookware you're looking at frying pans and saucepans. Jetboil do this flux ring frying pan which is nice and light, has a foldable handle uh, and is quite heavy duty because the problem with thin frying pans is when you try to cook sausages for example it's very easy to burn them and ruin the pan. But if you're looking for a more all-encompassing setup, check out the MSR Quick 2 system. That's got the pots, frying pans and mugs and everything you need. It all packs within the saucepan and you can just put it in your bag. It is a little bit bulky if you were going for a sort of a backpack camping trip, but as a base camp setup, it's absolutely perfect. Now, moving on to utensils, because obviously once you put your frying pan on your stove, you've got to stir the sausages. Uh, MSR do this great little kit uh, that's on screen probably as I'm talking, which has got all the devices you need to stir said sausages. Uh, and it's very cheap at about 21 euros-ish, I think. Now within that set, there's a salt and pepper shaker. Now bear with me here, because let's say you've got the cutlery already, still buy the salt and pepper shaker, because Camp food on the whole, and I'm sure there's some gourmet chefs out there, but generally it can be a little bit bland. You know, think pasta, sauce, sausages. Bring a little tiny bit of salt and pepper with you in your bag, you won't regret it, and it makes such a difference to those little comforts that make camping brilliant. So let's talk about sleeping because that's half of the experience, and you're gonna need a sleeping mat. That lifts you up from the ground, so you're not just directly onto it because that gets cold and wet. Generally, camping mats go into two categories, ones that you blow up with air or ones that are foam pad. Now, there's advantages to both. The foam pad obviously isn't going to pop, it's lighter, and for alpine bivvies, it's definitely the way to go. But for tent camping, go with an air mat. So two examples I'd have a look at. One is the Camp Cassin Mat Light. Now, as you can see, it's small, it's light, and it's only €37.90, so an absolute bargain uh, of a camping mat really recommended. But if you want to blow the budget a little bit, and this is a camping mat that I've owned, loved, is the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite. Now it's bright yellow and it's utterly tiny. I haven't got one here to show you, but it's like almost that. It weighs nothing at all. You'd think it was going to be fragile because of how light it is. And I've put mine through some serious abuse. Uh, those Alpine bivvies I was talking about, and I've taken my air mat up there. 
never had a hole uh, for years and years and years. I eventually got a hole which I couldn't find, so that was the end of that map. But if your budget can stretch and you care about fast and light, check out the Thermarest stuff. So sleeping bags, and this really is a case of personal preference because everyone's sleeping temperature is different. Generally, what you want to look for is the lower temperature that they go down to. So there's a sort of a comfort level and then the lowest extreme level. Now, obviously, if it says something like minus 10, don't expect yourself to be toasty at minus 10. This is just the limit of the sleeping bag. It also depends on what you're wearing within the sleeping bag. And as I said at the beginning, the kind of person you are, because I've got friends who are super cold sleepers and would like a minus 50 bag if they could. For me, I'm a bit warmer, so I don't need something that low. But I would recommend you go as for a lower temperature that your budget and bulk of bag will allow because warmth is important. So two bags I'd have a look at. Number one is the Sea to Summit Talus TS1. It goes down to minus five. It's got a DWR finish, uh, so it can sort of shrug off water a little bit and nice resistant material. But if you're looking for something on the extreme end, the uh, Mountain Hardware Phantom Torch bag goes down to minus 16. Uh, some serious technology going on there and it packs it very small. Yes, I think it's over 500 euros, but you know, you're paying for a good night's sleep, people. I want to talk a bit about accessories because for me it's the little things that make a big difference when you're camping to improve your comfort. Now dry bags are an essential item. As it sounds, they keep your kit and your clothes dry. Sea to Summit uh, do a great range that's on the Epic TV shop and you can pack all your stuff in there. Personally, I tend to put leads in, so camera leads or phone leads or sometimes hard drives if I'm filming or my phone. So you can wrap them up, bung them in the back of the tent and you know your kit's gonna stay dry even if there's a torrential rain and your tent falls down. A camping towel. Now, I appreciate that when you go camping, you often don't shower. I've gone days without showering, but I mean, showering is sometimes important, especially if you're in a campsite where it has a shower. So again, Sea to Summit, pocket towel, really small, dries quickly. It's one of those things that's a bit of a pain to buy. It's not the most sexy thing to get, but once you have it, you won't regret it, and it will always be in your bag or your drawers just in case. Really good little bit of kit. Now, my next accessory might be personal to me, but it's the MSR coffee press thing. So it fits into the MSR stove and you can put real coffee inside and create a wonderful brew in the morning. I remember when I was uh, trekking around Nepal for something like two months uh, at a time. Yes, I know I could have instant coffee, but being able to wake up in the cold, make proper coffee in your sleeping bag makes such a difference for me. Maybe I'm just a coffee addict, uh, but I reckon this is an essential bit of kit to fit into your existing stove. And finally, let's just chat about water filtration. Water is essential for camping. You need it to drink with, you need it to uh, cook, drink with, cook with, uh, wash your hands, whatever, water is needed. So yes, sometimes you buy a tap, obviously you just take it from the tap, but if you're out wild camping or in the mountains, you wanna make sure that the water you're consuming is safe for you. Two options worth considering. One is the life straw, little tiny bit of kit. You stick it in a puddle or a lake and you literally just drink straight from that, uh, which is a very quick and handy way of doing it. But the problem is, is you can't then put that water into a water bottle. So the MSR trail shot means you can pump water from your puddle or from your lake directly into a water bottle. It has a lifespan of about uh, 2,000 litres, which is loads and loads and loads and loads. You're gonna lose it before you run out of uh, filter on that. It filters out 99.9999 whatever percent of bacteria, and it fills a litre in about 60 seconds. So again, nice and quick. Cannot tell you how important water filtration is. There's nothing worse than ruining your trip by getting sick halfway through. So do consider that if you're out in the middle of nowhere for a couple of days. So that's it, I've only covered a few things uh, and I've tried to talk about stuff that I've used that I genuinely think is good. As with all gear shows, I don't talk about it if I think it's rubbish. Check out our range on the Epic TV shop. Uh, there's always good discounts and sales and deals going on. That's it, have an amazing camping experience, have an amazing climbing experience and I'll see you guys soon.